Okay, welcome everyone. I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And uh, this is the second game of the first round of Swiss. Uh, I'm playing in this one. I'm on the right playing Kim. Uh, playing against Sam, who's playing harpsichord. And it looks like a bit of an unconventional harp sword of kill deck. Looks like a couple of scorch, but no uh, traffic accident. And I believe you're playing uh, Kim Smash with Cutlery, yeah? Yep, so yeah, Cutlery Kim, um, Clone Chips, Desperado, lots of influence that you can't really slot in anymore. So um, we'll see how we go. So that opening there from Sam looks like Sam Sam, a couple of Jacksons, a news team, and I have no idea what that other card was. Yeah, not sure. I've got um, a bit of a daily cast. Uh, I've... A hedge fund. And I just decided to mull that one. Obviously didn't see what I wanted to see. Could have been a mistake. So I know ice here, but he's probably going to keep it, I would assume. He yep, he's decided to keep. Kind of, can be dangerous against Kim. He'll be looking, I suppose, with not many operations in hand, he's not too worried about that. Yeah, very true. He's, he's drawn a nice first go anyway. Over R and D, he's left the HQ open. Yeah. So there's no point protecting that there because he's not really too stressed if you see any of the cards in his hand. Yeah. So I'm just getting money first up. And we'll, we'll go HQ. You're here thinking, yeah, let's go get a scorch. Yeah, trying to trying to hit an operation. Oh, and news team. Hit a news team. That's always a good start. So now I'm on negative one. Struggle straight. Jackson. Yeah. Crashes crash, for Jackson. Not realizing he has another one, so he doesn't really care. Yeah. Well, it reduces the value on his other Jackson because it means he has to use one of those cards to get it back. True. True. And there's Jack the other one. Oh, that'd be very tempting. I I would trash that myself. I'd definitely trash that. Oh, no, he doesn't no, trash it. That was probably a mistake in the end. A big one. Okay, so, so he's picked up a pad. And a sand sand. Puts the pad and the sand Put them sand. both down. So, yeah, I didn't trust the Jackson because I didn't want to make myself completely broke. Um, knowing that what I've got in hand isn't isn't that great. That's a run R&D, no res. And that's a sweep. Sweeps is out of here. So that's a good hit there by Kim. Although Sam's not too stressed about money because he's on nine. Does Matt want to check these remotes here? Goes again, no res. I uh, can't quite. Uh, Exploder. Yeah, so I've given him money, now I'm a little worried. Well, yeah, you're always worried when you hit the Exploder. But you've seen most of the cards in his hand, so... True. He hasn't drawn a, a whole bunch. He just drew a hedge fund. And a pop-up. That's not, that's not helping him much on a wraparound. And that's uh, another news team, I think. Yeah, I've given him the money to res that sand sand now, which is unfortunate. Well, lucky for you, he hasn't found any agendas yet. At the moment, I'm drawing like mad because I still can't find a wild side or the oh, desperate. Yeah, data sucker. That's what you want before you start running. Let's hope you get something juicy. Uh, sand sand. Yeah, um, wisely not trashing that from hand. Yeah. Well, I'm really stuck. Without that Desperado or the wild side to draw, I don't want to put myself on zero or get lower than five. Hedge fund out of here. Because uh, I'll be really, really in trouble then. Sam is the pad. Yeah, that, that's definitely it. That's the a big key to tempo is making sure you don't drop down to too, uh, too low in cash because... Um, Especially in Anna, because you, you probably wanted to get liberated out and, and daily cast. And if you're down to one, two credits, that's that's never a good place to be. Yeah, Sam very conflicted about what he wanted to put on the table then. Is that, I think he put the pop up on HQ, and I believe he's got another exploder in there as well. Yeah, he's got a quantum. He was going to put that on naked, and he changed his mind. Wrap around. So you bounce off that. Yeah. Running Corroder or just the David to deal with that? Uh, just the David. Don't have Corroder in the deck. Sand Sand on the table. That's always dangerous. Using the cutlery to get rid of the, the wraparound. 
I'm pretty sure behind that referendum is an archangel for memory. Ouch. Which, uh, yeah, it does, does hurt if you don't get that David down. So I found the chronotype. I just don't have anything. Just need the wild side. I don't want to put my parasite on the wraparound. And I think go to David, and I'm assuming you're going to go into R&D here. Need that, or you think you've got another wraparound on HQ? I think I was just, I was like, I'm not seeing the cards I want to yep. see. I just need to keep pressure on, otherwise I'm going to be yep. too far behind. I think it could have been possibly better saving the David till the next turn, just to uh, not give up. There we go, choo choo. Yeah, I probably did. Um, Astro on the sand. Tell him what I was going to do a bit too quickly and let him res the sand and now knowing it, I don't have the money to trash it. Well, it didn't change his turn. He wasn't. No, true. <laughs> he wasn't doing anything else except scoring that, Very that true. Astro. That sets up tons of things for him the breaking news kill and all sorts of goodies. Quantum. It's good to get those nice and early before you get tagged. Yeah, so it cancels out the news team. And the good thing is, with him scoring off the sand sand, he doesn't have money to mid seasons here. Doesn't seem like you're finding the pieces you want. You kind of really need a wild side pretty yeah. soon. Yeah. So no wild side, no Faust, no Desperado. And, and Desperado is a pretty big key to the econ of the deck. There's also dirty laundries that I could use to get money, not seeing those either. Sam drawn up here, he's found a Scorch. Um, drops down a pad. I think now I, I decide I have to start pressuring. I'm going to go R&D, use a token to get through the wrap. David's so good. And Archangel. Is he going to res it? Yes, he does. Yeah, he does. Makes me waste the token. It's a very, very, very tricky piece of ice, that one. So it's perfect for that style of deck because you can stick back Plascretes in, in the runner's hand and Desperados and Wild Sides and all sorts of stuff that breaks their tempo. Yeah, so plenty of data sucker tokens. No econ though. So even with the score at two to two, Sam's in a in, in a pretty good position here. Yeah, he's pretty pretty dominant. R and D's fairly well protected there until you can deal with that uh until you can deal with that wraparound and an archangel. Probably more the archangel, but having an astro token and you won't really be able to challenge R and D, he just needs to, to start hunting for his other agendas. So you're getting your money off your daily casts. So yeah, Sam's just digging now for more agendas. He's just drawn up. Checking the hand, trying to trash some. He's checking. He's like, do I have operations in here? Yep. He's probably sitting there sweating. Please don't hit. Please don't hit my scorched earth. Archangel. <laughs> no, Does Archangel. he want to fire? Probably not. There's nothing there. No, he's only got four credits. And even then, he doesn't want to put the David back in your hand. So. And there's the, it's really inconsequential to, to stick the data sucker in your hand. Yeah, at the moment. It's, it's Maybe not... the daily cast would be annoying, but even then, that's that's not worth it for him to go down to one credit. Yeah, it might slow me down a little bit, but he needs those credits to, if he draws an Astro or something. So my theory, I think now, is I have a forked. And I'll just do again. again. Yeah, I've, I've got a forked in hand, I'm pretty sure, so... I want to maybe use a parasite or something to get rid of the wraparound using the data sucker tokens. Yep. And then kill the archangel all in the same turn. See if he doesn't top deck anything here, he could almost purge. No, he's gonna he's gonna go digging. He's wait, what card is that? Is that? It's turtlebacks. That's turtlebacks. Yeah. Turtlebacks. Sam loving the jank. He's got a lot of a lot of one ofs in this this one, just little surprises, which I think caught a lot of people out on the day. Yeah, yeah. Full. A lot of people were expecting a stock standard and and ran straight into a lot of yeah. Well, I know I played cards. I know I played a harp on the day, and I was just like, "Where's my clot? I'm wearing my plasquerids." But this this looks a little bit different. Looks like it's 
more focused on the scoring with a bit of a, a side option of a kill. Yeah, just to, tons probably of sucker just to tokens. Keep... You run archives. I'm assuming the the parasites coming down. Yeah, so Kim taps when running archives. So. Yep, drops the parasite, and you'll get in to see at least one card, unless it's got a Cyberdex on the table. Uh, so he spooned. Okay, it's going to clear out both those ice in one run. That's a that's a very very strong play. So yeah, we're gonna access and hopefully and see the Gutenberg, an which as soon as he picks it up, that's getting yeah. straight on the R and D. Yeah, which yeah, and you're out of David tokens now. So me a lot. Might be time to go tag me, if you can find your Plaskarite. Yeah, I just picked up Faust, so I do have an option, but Faust isn't really helping you there with Gutenberg at six. No. Right? and he hasn't been raising that ice over HQ yet, so I still don't know what that which is. Which I think is a pop up. No, it can't be. It's or a, a David. It? Yeah. I think it's a David. It's... Not that. I, at the moment, I'm guessing it's David. If it was a pop-up, you would res it. Uh, not David, Data Raven. Data sorry. Raven. Yeah. yeah, if it was a pop-up, you would have res it ages ago. Yeah. Just take the money, draw your parasites to something else. Yeah. So he's got a, he's got an Astro in He hand. does have an Astro. And we've got, we've got the Turtle Wax going down. So he's yeah. resed it and... He's just popped a card and he, down. And he's going off screen. At the top of screen there, yeah. And Gutenberg on R&D, most likely. Yep. So if you can get into his hand. Yeah, yeah that's where I want to so go. Matt sniffs and, the danger yeah. and you arrives at Data Raven. Here's the tricky. Do you start going tag me now, especially? Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've got one quantum, but. It's probably a little too early, I think. Yeah, yep, fair enough. Just check Come that. check. Franchise City. So I have to check that because I haven't seen that in live play. Yeah. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever seen anyone play that. I'm assuming you put that down, hoping just in case you get the Astro, he scores a point. Yeah, or you can put things down naked and just get that extra point for the win. Well, I suppose um, just installing it to get the credit. Yeah, well, if you're on six and you can just... And you can't score agendas. Yeah. You can just pop it down if they run it, res it and win. Yeah, I'm not not sure on how good that card is, but I suppose a, a one of is a give it a try out and see how it goes. Yeah, well, I when I saw it, I just sort of erred on the side of caution. Thought uh, something's up and here. I better trash it. Second astro. Now yeah. you are in big strife. Big trouble. To the point where yeah, where I should have trashed that sense and just. Click, 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 trash. Yep. Um, big mistake. Well, you weren't really finding any money, but at the same time, you're sort of spending it doing other things. But yeah, it's always dangerous to leave a res sand sand on the board. So now you got to decide. You know, you've seen the Gutenberg, so you know it's a Gutenberg. It's, it's, it's tag me time. Yeah. Not even bothering with the Faustus. Yep. Tag away. Have some counters. Counter, counter, counter. I'm just tagged. <laughs> Man, I'm sure that there's just yeah. I'm yeah. just tagged. <laughs> yeah, I think he, I think he raised it by one, and I'm like, yeah, I don't care. I'm just <laughs> go and tag me. Yep. So he's uh, got he's got the Raven counter as well. Because once you go, you just sort of it, when you've only got four credits, you just commit and just go and heaps of tag. Double Astro token. You have to go, and he doesn't really care because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're, you're taking tags there. I'm pretty sure that um, he doesn't have an agenda in hand, so he's not too worried about that. No. no Do no. you R&D lock him? That's what I would like to know. Uh, it looks like you've got one click left after this. And he's just kicking back. He's like, yeah, i got nothing here. And R&D lock. Good yeah. job. Just... And he's like, yep, yeah, I'm not going to bother raising that because yeah. you're just taking tags anyway. And stay. So it's not an agenda, which is good, but he can he can draw and install on his last click and and still score. Yeah. So I'll throw away the Mimic because I don't think I need that anymore. Uh, he's picked up another turtle back, so I'll install that. Gain in some cash. It's hard to know what to do in these spots because if you go after the turtle backs, it's, it, it sets you back a lot because they're, they're expensive to trash. Unless you've got an imp down. Yeah. 
He's going digging with Jackson. He's found another Jackson. I mean, I'm really struggling for cards here. I haven't seen wild side, desperado, or medium. I can't medium dig. Mm. Um, yeah, that'd be what I'd be looking for here. Just really dig, dig, dig. Really and, struggling. And I hope you miss the kitty cats. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking if I can get that medium at this point, I don't oh, care it if doesn't really cats. help you. Uh, so More tags. <laughs> tags galore. And those um, oh, kitty cat. Yeah. <laughs> those are those are nice looking tag tokens you got there, Matt. Where'd you get those from? Uh, yeah, they're the nationals. Um, the top sixteen, I believe. Got got tag tokens. Nice, good year, job. So. Yeah, they were good. Good to have. Well, he's picked up an exploder, and that's game. And yeah, so yeah, got pretty much annihilated that game. Yeah, he, um, uh, he over advanced it and everything. <laughs> not not much I could do there. Um, the power maybe, of yellow. In hindsight, maybe draw, maybe trash. Yeah, um, I think maybe could have yeah. set up a little bit more at the start of the game. Just just um, gone digging for your pieces. But yep. it can be hard against MBM when they score that early Astro. You get put under a lot of pressure. So you guys, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Tempo Gaming, and at Twitter, at Tempo Gaming Oz.